Right, folks, back with the next episode of the Beer Hawk Review. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to meet my mate uh, Mitch on his boat. You've seen Mitch in the beer garden and with his uh, car. So uh, here we go, let's walk through. Don't those flowers look nice over there? Hey. <laughs> right, now it's a bit wobbly on here, so I'm going to shut this up. I'm going to walk my way through. There he is. Captain Mitch, I'll see you in a minute, mate. It's a long boat, this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah right. Careful. Careful. Have we got the lifeguard ready? Yeah. Right. See you later. <laughs> and here we go through the cabin of the boat. Working our way through. There's the beer that we will be drinking later. We're doing the uh, world lagers uh, this time. So, Mitch has got the motor running. And here he is. How you going, mate? Oh, boy. Oh. Welcome aboard the Lady Catherine, David. Lady Catherine. So, what we'll do, mate, we'll spin this out so we can talk together. Uh, what we're going to do, people, is that we're going to. Uh, Cast the boy, is it, or whatever you do? Push off. And we're going to push off and we're going to go down the river and we're going to then review some more beers from the Beer Hawk. Don't forget, please drink responsibly and uh, the code of BBM10. I'll tell you more about it later on. All right, right, folks, so we've just left the uh, marina at uh, Pillings Lock, where we're on saw. A lot of boats down here, mate. There is, mate. Ain't there? There's a few grand's worth here. A couple hundred, mate. Yeah. So, uh, what you say, we can, you know a spot where we can go and uh, yes. review these beers? Yes, I do. We've got, we've got a couple of choices. We yeah. Can, we can stop off at Miller's Bridge, which is delightful. Yeah. Uh, we've got to go into Loughborough. Yeah. Because we, the only way I can turn this thing round, I've got to go into Loughborough. So right, oh. Turn it back round again. So, we could, if you wanted to, we could probably have a sample a couple of Millers. And if you want, yeah. we could probably. Stop off at the wharf in Loughborough. Yeah. Have a beer there if you want. Okay, okay. All sounds good to me. But uh, this is amazing, mate. I've never been on a boat before like this. An Arab boat. It's very relaxing. Yeah. So, is there a speed limit in this area, or is yeah, there... you you shouldn't really go above uh, <laughs> really fast, above four mile an hour. Oh. Uh, and if you if you're passing other boats like we are at the moment yeah it's just on tick over yeah so it's the etiquette is is that you you go past boats nice and nice and still so you're not rocking them all over the place or knocking the pins out okay no. when you're on a river you can go up to natural river you go up to about six miles an hour. all right so you can really open it up there or you can play it. yeah but it's um it's a lot of common sense in there. Yeah. It's a relaxing hobby. It's not. It's not. It's not, it's not about to speak. It's about sucking in the countryside and enjoying it. Exactly. And there's a bit of countryside. There's a bird brewing itself, telling us to sod <laughs> off. <laughs> Got some more boats over here, folks. Uh, are they living on them? Yeah, quite a lot of liverboards. So you have. Sort of categories of boaters, you'll have leisure boaters, which is yeah. what myself is in. So, we basically we live at home, we, but we'll come out on the boat weekends or go on holiday. Yeah, we have liverboards. The liverboards can either stay at marinas, which they do, and pay, yeah, uh, or they can, can have the continuous cruiser uh, brigade. And what they do is they just live actually on the canals, but they have to, they're only allowed certain places to moor for no more than sort of like 14 days. Oh right. 14 days they've got to move on. Oh, in fact there's a couple of blokes on the uh, YouTube that do that. Yeah. They do vlogs all the while, they're quite entertaining so I can't remember the name. Ginge likes to watch them so. <laughs> all right so I'll let this, uh, I'll turn this off and we'll get a bit further down and we'll restart again mate. Right folks we're back, you didn't even know we'd gone have you. We are coming up to a bridge now. Uh, we're cruising down the river saw, aren't we, towards Loughborough? Uh, how many, uh, how, what speed are we doing, mate? We're doing all of 12,000 revs from the Barra Shire 75 horsepower engine. There we go. 
and it does seem like we are. It's towing along now, isn't it? We're chugging, mate. We're chugging along. Uh, do you get nervous when you come up to a bridge like this? Used to. Yeah, got used to it now. Yeah. But you, you see that white mark? See that white strip? Yeah. That's what you aim for. You aim for that, mate. You aim for that, you're already. So here we have, we've got a nice bridge, it's called uh, Woodthorpe. Woodthorpe Bridge. Bridge 33. 33, there we go, look at this, look. They don't make them like that anymore. Got to stand up a little bit so we can all see a bit further. Think of the days, mate, when they used to be pulled by horses. Yeah, pulled by the old giddy ups. So I hope you're enjoying this, folks. This is a bit of a different kind of uh, BVM video. Mitch in the BVM stable now and that. Uh... So you're looking forward to trying these beers, oh, mate? mate? I am so thirsty. Yeah. We've, um, we've got the World Lagers uh, that we're going to review. We've got uh, nine bottles of them. So we could do nine bottles on the wall. And uh, like I say, folks, uh, if, um, if you're interested in the purchasing some beers from Beer Hawk, use the code BVM10. So it makes it sound like I've really made it now, doesn't it? BBM10. And uh, apparently now this is code is being introduced for the machines as well. Um, so if you do want to buy one of the machines, they've actually gave you the code to uh, buy the one as well. And it, So basically now you ain't going to get a machine any cheaper than what uh, there is with the BBM code and the discount they've got at the moment. So the power of the BBM has made it even cheaper, folks. So, uh, well, this is very relaxing, Mitch. It is, it is, it's lovely, mate. Yeah. It's all history, Dave. Yeah. It's like a working, uh, I call it like a working museum. It is, isn't it, really? Unfortunately, you're not gonna get a chance to go through a lot today. No, but... Uh, Maybe another time. That's where we've just come from. We've got the old dog bowl there, look. It's really good, Mitch. Loving this. I've been warned you, we've been talking of doing this, haven't we? Yeah. But uh, time takes it away from us. Got another bird thing there, look. Where's he gone? There he is. Right, turn this off and we'll come back in a bit. So we've come a bit down the uh, fairway down the river saw. And we're just going to moor up, is it, mate? Is that the technical term? That's the technical term, mate. So we're going to wind your way. If I'm in your way, just say, uh, sit down, you fat bastard. <laughs> so where's that over there, Loughborough? Oh, um, it's Charwood Waters. Oh, right. Where's Charwood, that part of Loughborough? So you never know, somebody might actually live over there. That might be you watching your own house. So, do you need a license to? Uh... Yeah, you do. You so you've had to one. take a test. Or... No, no, sorry. You, you need a canal license. All oh, right. Uh, a boat license. But no, you don't. You, don't, you just get chuck the keys and get on with it. There's no test to tell to see whether you're like right, whether you're okay or not. All oh, right. I thought there might be some kind of. Uh... Test. Right, so. so now what you do, pull that over. Don't fucking leave me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, I can gradually feel it. Well, Mitch, you look like you're thoroughly enjoying this. It's only 25 times. <laughs> With me on it. Yeah. You know, sometimes you're doing this and they're ringing the bell at you. Yeah. Wanting to get by, and you said, I've got 25 times yeah. a bit of metal. Just what? trying to get it in, but you well, can't leave me alone. Well, there's you. That's, that's the tip then. If you're on the path, uh, on the uh, towpath, and you're on a cycle, just be a bit considerate. Look at that lot. You look like you've done that a few times, Mitch, now. Right, I'm going to have to tie the back end up, mate. Right. I need your help. 
Right, oh, right, I'm going to turn this off and I'll be back. Totally unrehearsed. Right then, folks, as you uh, have seen from the first eight minutes of this video, um, I'm with Mitch. How are you, mate? I'm brilliant, mate. Good stuff. Uh, as we all know, or as most of you know, I have got a sponsor. I am being sponsored by Beerhawk, and um, this is part of the deal where I have to do these videos and review some of the excellent beer that they sell. Uh, there is a promo code of BBM10, uh, and I've mentioned this just before, but uh, you now can use the BBM code 10 on their machines as well, but you won't be able to use it on their keg beers uh, because that is not part of it. But even so, folks, get down there, get on their website, have a look, try some of the beers. Thank you to everybody who's been buying off the uh, first video I did. I can't believe it. It's really good, isn't it? I can't believe it. Well done. Have you had a beer hawk before? I have actually. Yes. I've ordered. Yeah, I've had some uh, uh, Weissen beer, which ah. actually I've got a bottle in the fridge. Oh, so I'll add that to it. And it we'll was, add that to it. It was from Beer Hawk. Good, it was brilliant. The, the delivery was fantastic. And yeah, they were very, very quick. I actually, um, before I started doing these videos, and like they were got in touch with me, I did do a bit of research on them. I thought I'm not putting my name to something that's no good. But anyway, I, did, I read the reviews and they were all good, so I thought I'll go for it. That's it. Uh, so what we are reviewing today, um, I have had a case of world lagers um so we've come along the uh, river saw in mitchy's boat we just thought we'd add a little bit of something different to this video and uh, we're going to drink a few of these beers people walking by thinking what the hell is going on but it's all good stuff <laughs> how are you dog <laughs> how are you? Uh, right mitch i'll let you pick first then which one are we going for we go left or right dave i don't know mate it's uh We've got the beers lined up down here. Let's try um, it. So, try this one. what's this one then, mate? I don't know why I've put my fucking glass in. <laughs> it's called uh, uh, Menabria. Menabria, right. Menabria. It's, uh, where's this from? Doing Italia. So. Italia. And it says uh, Beera Blonda, premium lager. Beer Wanda. Now there's yeah. another YouTuber that I watch. Beer Beyonder. Yeah, Beyonder. There's a there's a bloke I watch called Beer Wanda. His wife's so. called Wanda. So. Four point eight percent volume. That's quite good, isn't it? Yeah. And a small little bottle like that. Let's go for it, mate. Mm -hmm. Steady glasses, dude. No, but so we've got to share these half and half kind of thing, haven't we? But uh, around half and half, that'll do, mate. That's it. Now then. It's got good head. As I always say, folks, you can't beat. Well done. Well done. Hey, that's a fucking good measure you got there, dude. Right, equal that, I reckon. Because mine's thicker yeah, at the bottom right. and yours is. Yeah, uh, it's a thin slender, yeah. slender glass. But yeah. So you've never heard of this beer before, mate? No, mate. Like that. It's not too gassy. No, and it's got. It's a nice little bitter edge to it. It's mm. lovely. Lovely. This would be um, definitely a summer. Yeah. This is, in fact, it's quite quaffable, Dave. Mm. That reminds me of another one. I can't remember what it is, though. And it's nothing rubbish like Carlin or Foster's or anything like that. It's just got a bit of a beer Moriette, do you think? I don't know. Uh, no, because I think that's a bit, uh, a bit more sugary. This isn't, this is a... Uh, it's nice, whatever it is. Ain't it? It is. There's no other, other words to describe it other than that it's quaffable. I did four, me and June four. did four the other day, and um, <clears throat> every one were nice. They weren't, uh, we had the Hells. I had that, it, somebody says it's called Duplia, it spe looks Duplia, Duplia, or Duplia, or J U L I E P R, which is Belgian. So it's Huplio or something. They say they don't pronounce the J's, do they? No. That will bang on. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good. I hate to say it, but this this it's not far off like a San Miguel, you know. Yeah. Well, I had one yeah. yesterday, San Miguel, a cold one, at the Hope and Anchor, and this it's is got good. that got that. Uh, this is really mm. good, isn't it? Yeah, I'm liking that. Definitely barbecue. Out in the garden. See, this is the thing. Nice and cold. Yeah. When I was, um, when Beer Hawk got in touch with me, I used to do, I said this on my first video of the other week and I did them. And uh, I said, to buy a load of beers and give them as a present to somebody for Christmas, birthdays, or whatever, Father's Day, what a great idea. But I was saying, go around own bargains and stuff. But when I found out about Beer Hawk, all you got to do is just buy them 
Yeah. And it's done, isn't it? You get a selection of different beers. Yeah. And you, I would say as well that there's a fair chance that they're going to be a decent beer. Decent beer, and you mm. and you you can play all sorts of games. Yeah. You know, like around the world. Yeah. You know, yeah. let's let's guess guess the yeah. country where well, where it's from. Yeah. That's a now that is a good it's idea. A good, good drinking game. That is a good idea. Bit of a drinking game as well. Just thinking, right, on the comments when I was on the, <laughs> here before. Yeah. Um, I use the word basically yeah. too many times. Yeah. So every time. So every time I say basically, I suggest you get yeah, a shot. Yeah, have to have a shot or something. <laughs> but please drink responsibly. <laughs> but we've got to save the bottled tops uh, for Ginge. She wants to save the bottled Ooh. tops, so I don't know why. Very good. Right, mate. Next one. Oh. Shall we do it like yeah. the kiwi? Yeah, I do it like the kiwi. Just a bit of a water, I'll do. Just to get a quick rinse. This is not out of the canal, by the way. No, You're right, mate. Good stuff. <coughs> Carry on. Carry Same on. Direction. Yeah. Ooh, there's a bit more in this one, Dave. Mm. Lager beer hell. Uh, what if that's got the idea from that Camden's? Is that Hell's? Is that Hell? I can't remember. No. Was it Hills? Hells, I think. Right, this is, uh, it says here, Suten Wasser. Yeah. Uh, so I would say that this is definitely German. Yeah. Um, München, so is it Munich, possibly? Yeah, I'd have thought so with that. München beer, Munich beer. Mm. Uh, and it, oh, Jesus, it's 5.2. Oh, God. Can you get done for steering uh, a canal boat? Drinking responsibly, right, uh, on, a, on a narrow boat. Shouldn't, obviously, don't get completely hammered yeah um but uh, and just be very very sensible very sensible so we're at, is it, if, for any of the observant viewers uh, we're only having half each we're only having half each half so. each so and i've also had a good is that driving itself no there is a bloke there i'm surprised it's actually moving to be fair <laughs> if you can see the state of the thing it's uh... i think it was a ghost ship yeah right there you go right so, so what's it like being part of this now boating community? Is it all friendly stuff, or yeah, it is. do you get the odd knobhead? It's in all walks of life. You always get a knobhead. You're going to get people that know it all. Yeah. I confess that I'm a leisure boater. <laughs> I do. I my thought best. you were going to say I confess I know it all. <laughs> I don't. I'm on a learning curve, a steep learning curve. Right, I won't have too much of this. Oh, that's all right, man. Yeah, just uh, I'll just still get this boat back, back home in one piece. Yeah. Well, you got lights as well. Oh yeah. That's if it gets stuck in the river. More, right? yeah. Are you allowed to dr uh, drive, not drive at night? Yeah. Sail or? Yes, you are. Yeah. It's perfectly okay. Again, with all the nav stuff, um, you got nav lights, and if you do find yourself stuck yeah. in the river or whatever, you put the lights on. You got an anchor, so we can throw an anchor in. Some, ri some rivers you can't take these boats on unless no. you've actually got an anchor and all, really? the, all the kit, yeah. Cool. Right. Excuse me, cheers. Yo, cheers, dude. I missed that one, didn't I? Good, eh? Can't beat that, folks. <laughs> so this is a German Hell's beer. That's a bit of a pilsner Munich. to me, yeah, is it? Is, isn't it? I taste a bit pilsner. Nice. Tell you what, it'd be all right it's just sitting here, wouldn't it? Do you ever had the old um, leffy? Yes, I think. Yeah, possibly. it is a bit. Mind you, there's a couple of leffies, isn't there? There's different varieties. Yeah, you have leffy blonde, I think. Yeah, and brune. Yeah, and I've had the brune. Ruby. I think that's. I think that's a ruby. I think they call it ruby or something like that. Um, which is oh, like the brown one. But yeah, I like the, the mm, blonde. The light blonde one. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's all right, isn't it? Mm. Be honest with you, although I said that, I'm on my second sip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not that. There's not much taste to it. No, it's got a lot. It might be strong, but it's. Mm. Do, do you get any body? Because I'm not. I'm not getting... now, but I think what it is. I think you know when you look at it and you think, oh, that looks like a such and such. I know it looks like a lager, but you do think, mm, I like it. To, if you're reviewing this right, I would say that oh be honest i don't you know don't yeah 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 this is this this hasn't got a this hasn't got much taste to it no no it's it's a strong tasteless german beer 
Maybe it's to catch you out, I don't know. Yeah. Right. Trouble is with me, I like them all. I like everything I drink. Yeah, you have to be careful because yeah. as, as, as we get on, <laughs> by the time you get to your seventh. Yeah, you're right. It is a bit. It hasn't got as much flavour as the last one. No. It's a little bit more gassy, but I still won't kick it out of bed. But there you go, you see. I mean, me and June did four last week, and we just did them in order of what we liked. Mm. Yeah. It's not growing on me, Dave. No. To be honest. But I suppose this is the whole idea of the cases, isn't it? You pick what you like, and then oh, yeah. you go back and you order what you like the most. Yeah. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not some, mm. I, I'm not going to chuck it away. No. But it's not, um, only because it's, it's, it is, it's it's a yeah. gassy, tasteless mm. beer. Mm. Wait, well, wait until that 5.2 <laughs> kicks in. Yeah, you're right. I fact, I feel like a good burp now. <laughs> and I would... <laughs> there you go. There she blows. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, mate. I won't kick it out of bed. It's not my favourite. It hasn't got that much taste to it. But I'm... You know, it's like Father Ted or something, doesn't he? Some kind of monk. Yeah, you're fine, mate. Yeah. There's only these German ones. Yeah. But there we go. There you so go. It's lackluster. Yeah. Sorry, mate. I would give that. Should we rate these? What would you give the first one? Um, out of 10? I'd give the first one a good seven and a half out of ten myself. That yeah. one, I'd probably say four and a half, five, yeah, three, mm. three, four. Yeah. Yeah. I might actually clear the planet as well yeah. while I'm at it. Yeah, I think I'll. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me, folks. Spits or swallows. Right. So what we're going for next, mate? It's your choice. Well, keeping going along from uh, right to left. The next one is a cheeky looking little bottle. Oh, cheeky. It's, uh, these, uh, these have been going since 2005. Oh, relatively new then. It's Lucas. Thornbridge, Hell's Lager. Another what? Hell. Thornbridge. What is in? It must be. It must be UK then, is it? It's got to be, isn't it? What's the writing on there? Is it English? I, I had one last week and I could not understand. I couldn't read a word of it. It says here. Oh, listen to this. U, U, UCAS uh, sounds like a union. Is a crisp Bavarian ah. uh, style Hell's Light Gold in colour. Traditionally. Uh, Traditionally lagered and brewed with all Bavarian ingredients, uh, the resulting beer is the very definition of elegant simplicity and finesse. Mm. And you're on about what writing it is. It's got every language under the book. It's even got Chinese on there. Oh right. Well, you've got to be Chinese, isn't it? Chinese uh, on a bit of everything it's nowadays. Brewed and bottled uh, in Thornbridge, Riverside Brewery, Bakewell, Derbyshire. Mm. There you go, Bakewell. There you go. Let's pop it then, dude. So it's it's got all the Bavarian ingredients. Is that what it said? So what they done then? Shipped them all over and brewed it here? No, they have all the same ingredients. I suppose it's different barley and. I suppose it's, I don't know. Yeah, they're doing it. Can you remember? Fo oh, not Foster's Four X. Oh, it's got a nice smell to it. Foster's Four X. Yeah, not, uh, I meant to say just Four X. Is that enough, dude? Oh, I think you can have a bit more in a minute, mate. Oh yeah. I've got the shakes already. I don't know. It's the camera. I think it's just a boat wobbling. There you go, know. mate. Just prop it up for you. Does everybody want to see that? Yeah, hold that one up. There we go. It looks like the writing's back to front on your camera. Is that alright? Yes. Yeah, um, yeah. My Adidas badge is the right way. No way. <laughs> yeah, it's right. Hey, you've done that again, haven't you? Yeah, same one, mate. <laughs> 
You got 15 holes and you pick the same one twice. Good lad. Right. Mm. Now that's actually got body to it. That, yeah, that has actually got taste. Or do you think it because we rinsed the mouths out? No, I think that one didn't have any taste in it. No, this is going. This is almost like the the first one we did because yeah. it's got that. It's got a nice bitter mm. aftertaste to it. I tell you what, you feel like you could get drunk on this. Actually, yeah. What what strength did we say? Did we say? Did we say five or four point four point two. Right. So. Yeah, but actually, that other one, that that big one. What have I done with? Can I block up a fucking door? <laughs> <laughs> I think I've they got it. There you go. Eagle. What was that one? Five point something. Yeah, this this one tastes stronger than 5 .2. that. Five point two. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah, seems like the wrong way around. So yeah, it's got the wrong way. label on. But mm. this is, yeah. yeah. Bear, bear, bear in mind it's brewed in Bakewell. Yeah, yeah. They make cakes, don't they? <laughs> Bakewell. That's nice. That really is a nice Oh, like, what's this one? Lucas? Yeah, Lucas. Tell you yeah. what, that is a good that one. That is a it? good beer. Yeah. I'll give you that about an. I'll give eight that an eight. Right. I'll give definitely a good eight on that. Hello. 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 Definitely a good eight. What time is it? No, I'm just uh, I've had a big dog. I'll have to see what that says in a minute. No, it's my mate, big dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean she was, I meant my mate, big dog. Oh dear. <laughs> Are you drunk here? Oh. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is um, all right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, I'd say this is eight and a half. I prefer this one. Mm. Is this the best so far? I Are think you? so, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'd say with the best one so far. So, we've got six to go, mate. What shall we do? A couple more here. Yeah, and chug be. along up the top. We can uh, take you up to the uh, Loughborough Wharf, or we could stop up near the Albion. Yeah. Turn around and. Uh, Sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, we'll do one more. Mm. This is going to be a massive video, this. <laughs> We do one more, yeah, and then uh, better just do a little bit of chugging, yeah, chugging, and that'll give us time just probably to uh, have some crisps and all, <laughs> to soak soak up yeah. those last ones. Right, what we're going for now, then, mate? Right, here we go. Low and brow. Low and brow. Is there really any need to uh, review it? No, well, yeah. is it? Well, we this, will do. This is low and brow. You've got to, ain't you? Be rude. Oh yeah. Be for, rude not to. Five point two percent, yeah. sir. Now this will be interesting because I was thinking we've just had a five point five point two yeah low and brow five point yeah. two so which is yeah and then we said that was tasteless yeah but I wonder what this will be well I like a low and brow I mean I you know I, I do. do do we need to rinse a glass yeah I'll chuck a bit in there for you mate put it in there. What lies in the bottom of these bloody rivers? Because apparently, well, yeah, apparently um, now they're, they're warning these magnet fishermen to uh, be careful, isn't they? Because there's that many people doing it, they're pulling up bloody bombs and hand grenades. <laughs> they are. Because there was some material today that um, two blokes had pulled something up and they went, What is it? And one says, I think it's a bomb. And apparently it was a bomb. Lion brow. And um, I don't know why I said that, you can read it. Unless you're visually impaired, low and brow. Um, yeah, and apparently they, uh, they carried this bomb, they ran to the car 
right? Why would you run with a bomb to a car? And then uh, they decided not to put it in the car. They put it in a the field. They called the uh, UXB. That were a TV program, weren't it? <laughs> it was. Hey, UXB. Uh, look it up on YouTube. I bet it's there. And uh, anyway, as the UXB lot were coming, the fucking thing blew up. Oh yeah. In the field. Oh, yeah. So, so folks, this is a line bra. We are now on a five point two. So. Um, let's see. It's a familiar smell. And it has taste. It has a lot of taste. That is, that is, that <laughs> takes me back. <laughs> it? Scotty used to sell that down the riverside. He did. Side. He did yeah. didn't I thought he did. Well, I, didn't know whether, I didn't know whether they were there or up the lodge. Hello, Margaret. Margaret and Rab. Rob. Rab. Leona. <laughs> I bet they don't fucking watch this. <laughs> Margaret does. Does she? Oh, yeah. What, on the other side of the world? Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it, how this can get from here on the River Saw to the other side of the world in America. Absolutely amazing. The other side of the world in America. <laughs> well, <laughs> I wouldn't like to walk it. On the side of the pond. On the side of the pond. Right. I don't know why I'm showing a Edelweiss on, on that. I'm showing the glass more than anything. That was a song, weren't it? Weren't that in... Mary Pop, not Mary Pop. Sound, Sound of Music. Well, well, this is just you can't. There's no point in marking uh, low and brow because we all know how good I'll, it is. I'll, I'll give it. I'll, I will nine. Yeah, yeah it is in it. It's, it's gorgeous. Up there. It's. The th I don't like to give top marks onto things because I think if you give top marks, the only way is downhill. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because when you get these, when you do these survey things, when people say, "How do you think we did?" and I'll say eight, nine, and they say, "Why nine? Because I think if you could tell, it's only downhill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, I'm liking that. Why should you not? No, you can't not like no. Lambrow, can you? No, it's perfect. We could have probably just saved that to the last few. Yeah, we should have really just said, right, we've done all these. Yeah. If you've got some really fancy editing now, you you might be able to tack this on. Fucking That'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? I've, I've learned how to put titles on. Because uh, uh, me and Chris the Butcher re uh, deep fat fried a pork pie. Well, apparently I didn't fit deep fat fry it because I didn't have enough oil in the pan. Yeah. So, but I don't want to put it in because when you put something in, it comes out, doesn't it? It's like a, so. yeah, and, and you're right. It takes away the 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 natural sort of ambience. Yeah, the orangutan effect that I have. I think we're getting there. I, th I think it's starting to kick in. You know that um, uh, Ed Sheeran song? Is it like Blood Tree? Yeah. Tell me when it kicks <laughs> in. <laughs> See, I, thought, I actually think this is yeah. starting to kick in. Now. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to get home to June tonight. I'm going to rip the knickers off. <laughs> just to kill him, mate. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. That was... That, that yeah, that, you can't, you can't, whoever's at Bear Hawk who's sorted this out, I think you ought to just, mind you, they do actually do a keg of uh, low and brass. Do they? Yeah. So I'm tempted to um, buy one of these um, pump machines they've got. Yeah. And uh, give I it might, a go. Yeah. I might just get myself a keg for Christmas. Yeah. kind of thing so uh, right folks so what we're going to do we're going to chug along up to the river saw and um, basically you won't know that we've been and gone and because everything will be like that so <laughs> later right folks we are back with the uh, well I don't know whether it'll be the final video because I've got a few things that we're going to video on the way back haven't we I've got that one in the fridge as well I forgot oh yeah you got the one in the fridge ain't you we could do that when we get to the Pillings, okay, oh, fill it. Um, right, we've got five bottles left here. Mitch has got one left in his fridge that we're going to review. What we're going for, mate? Spartan. Spartan. Uh, Minchen. It must be German. Yes, it is original. It is original from Munich. Good stuff. Uh, and it is. <laughs> Another 5.2. It's a bit of an average thing there, the 5.2, isn't it? Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, so let's... Uh, Sup in. Sup in. Welcome right. to the bike. Yeah. Are you all clear? Yeah. Right, mate. 
Oh, yeah, definitely. That's some more in there, mate. Mm. It does, um, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but obviously this video, of, I mean, you've only just seen it, but it is from uh, Bear Hawk, folks, so don't forget to use the code BVM10. Um, all very good. Right, mate. Not. It's not Spartacus, because that's what a lot of people are thinking, because that's what I thought when you first said it. Yeah. We've moored up outside the... Um, 3M, the old 3M uh, factory, what is it, a factory or offices? Well, it was 3M factory, wasn't it? Yeah. In Loughborough, Nottingham Road. Nottingham Road, yeah. Now it's converted into. Yeah, Ginge wants to live here. So, smells nice. Smells like beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that is a strong Pilsner, isn't it? Oh. That, how can that, right, how can that taste like that, yeah. yet the other one didn't taste of anything? No, no, that is, it's just gorgeous. What's one to so we put it in there? Mm. Spartan. That was the one that we didn't like. Yeah, that's the one that, it was the least one of them, it's the least one we liked out of a lot of them. And that's but that's Spartan, that is really that. good. I'd quite Ooh, happily man. drink a crate oh, of that. God, yeah, that is just. Mm. Remember, we were talking about Lethe. Yes. So. Yeah, I know where you're coming from. So now. We yeah. are. We are back in the mm. the land of Lethe. Yeah. It's strong. It's five point two. Yeah. It's got a nice bitter taste to go mm. to it. Um, quaffable. You, yeah, you could quite easily sit there on your boat in the summer. Yeah, enjoying this glorious weather. Indian summer we're having a moment. Yeah. I hope you like the way we've got uh, the beer hawk sign there in the background. You know, it's a bit like the news, isn't it? Yeah. When you sit there, you've got the whatever it is. How long has the uh, beer hawk been going? I haven't got a clue, mate, to be fair. I think they've been going about seven years. I did actually have it wrote down. If you watch, if you go back to the first beer hawk video I did, um, they did have a, I, d I did read a bit of their history out. Um, yeah, good stuff. They're on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. www.beerhawk.co.uk. Share your beer with hashtag beerhawk. I wonder if they do glasses. Yeah, they do. Beerhawk glasses. They do, well, and they, would they do them for the for the different types of beer? You know, like you have the Belgian. Oh, I don't know. You know, you have the Belgian mm. beers. They have special glasses, don't they? They have got stuff. some kind of thing. They have got a. Uh, merchandise bit as well I've not really looked into that but um, with the beer the German Octofest that I'm going to do Oktoberfest oh, I keep saying Octofest not Oktoberfest um, they have sent me a big one of the um, Steiner yeah excellent yeah but uh, that was mine <laughs> if you want to borrow one I've got that clay one oh yeah you haven't yeah yeah mm. I said that an ideal job would be for working for Beer Hawk, going around testing all these beers. Yeah, mm. <clears throat> definitely. Yeah. I really like that. You could really go around the world, couldn't you? Yeah, properly. I really, really like that. Is that, one you put mm. that is, that's class. Yeah, that. Oh, you can't see it. Um, can't see it because it's getting dark. German finest. Yeah, but that is really good. Right. I'm impressed with that. Yeah. Really, really impressed. Well done whoever decided to have that for the uh, Beer Hawk company. Mm. So, do you think Beer Hawk, do they have scouts and they go out and, or do they just get people to send beers in and they just... I don't know. Them? One to us. It is. That is a very good question. Yeah. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm not sure I could do that job. Mm. I don't know where my liver would take I it. Said, uh, I said, what they'd have to do is um, they'd have to give you a Range Rover and a caravan, and then you could just go to around these places and then drink all their beer. That way, you ain't even got to have a hotel. You just fall into this caravan. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good stuff. Right, what we're going for now? I'll tell you what, I want to try this one. Because this is the one that Ginger keeps banging up. 
I've still left my glasses in the back there, so you're gonna have to read it. Mate. <laughs> I read it again, sorry, mate. I forgot it again. I'm your humble servant, Dan. Yeah. I'll use your boat. Schloss. <laughs> Schloss. It's uh, called, uh, I would say it's Eigenberg. It's E double G E N B E R G. Eigenberg, Eigenberg. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Hoffman. Chris uh, has gone down the wrong way. Hoffman, kind of, it says it's a. Uh, Finer's elegant or whatever. All oh, right. Uh, where's it from? It's got 1681 on it. Um, das Bierzum. Uh, Salt Salson. Whether it's in the Salzburg region, might be Salzburg yeah. land, possibly. That might be an idea to actually, when you buy these drinks, to. Give a bit more information because obviously you can't sometimes work it out where they're from. Tasting notes would be really good. Mm. Uh, what I should have done, I should have said what beers would go with the food. Oh yeah, these are German ones. It'd be yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, could, it would, would it? I could murder a bratwurst mm. now. Yeah, I could get a big fat one. With big all big bratwurst, mustard, oh, oh, German mustard. Yeah, I can't see the strength, Dave. Uh, oh, alcohol, uh, 5.1. 5.1. Excuse me. Anybody know a firm that can rescue boats? <laughs> I mean, do you pull, oh, pull that uh, yeah, rip cord, mate? Pull rip cord. Yeah. Hold on to your britches. Yeah. Save the lid for ginger. Save the lid for ginger. Very good, thank you very much. Right. That's it, that's fine by me, mate. Hiya. There we go. Right, perfect. Ooh. Sorry, you want to? Yeah. There we go. Well, I hope, like I say, folks, I said this in the other video that you're still watching because it's all continuous. So I hope you're enjoying this little jaunt on a narrowboat. Ooh, that's got a strong taste, isn't it? Oh, it's, oh, it's getting it's, better. It's like, do you know what it's done? It's like we've saved the best till last, oh. isn't it? Oh. I'm just going to finish these crisps off before they blow off. That is good, isn't it? Oh, no, it doesn't work. No, the worst to describe. No. It's again. It's definitely strong. Um, it's got a bitter uh, after mm. aftertaste yeah. to it. Um, Do you know what? When I first started drinking beers, I don't think I'd have liked this, but I think a beer like these, you you grow into them. You acquire the taste. You realise how much effort and work has been put into them. The, the youth of today now will probably go out and drink eight pints of Carlin and think it's fucking brilliant, but it's not. It's shit. You want to be drinking stuff like this because this has got love, care, and attention that's been put into it. These are really good, isn't they? Mm -hmm. To be perfectly honest with you, we've not been disappointed yet, apart from one. And and to be fair to that one, yeah, it's the worst one of the lot. But I wouldn't think it's that bad that I would not buy it again. There is a lot better than this, but I weren't. You know, it was disappointing, but I'm glad I've had a disappointment one because it proves that I don't want to just like it just because I'm being sponsored. No. You know, I told them that what I do is I'll be honest and... So, look at the labels. Yeah. Which beer at the moment looks more appealing? By just you know going what? by the label. Why have I gone with that packaging because it just looks like... Yeah? Yeah. Where well, that's like a, a caricature. See, interesting enough, my mate at the White Art, he said to me, you know what Mitch, he says, people haven't got a clue what the beer tastes like, Yeah. Right? but what they do is they look at the label, Yeah. and they go, oh that looks, that looks like a nice beer. Mm. Yeah, I know right? what you mean. Based on the label. Mm. So that, to me, I thought the first yeah. one appealed because it looked yeah. like a real... Old is, fashioned type yeah. beer. And then, yeah, the one that, the Holy Grail, yeah. that doesn't look, it's elegant, don't yeah. look much. Spelt with egg at the beginning. Egg. egg. Yeah. 
actually this one's got more kick yeah. to it and punch to it than the, the one the that's ones. got all yeah. the fancy. Yeah. So so don't just go by the label. You ought to you ought to taste them. Hopefully your video is uh, is giving that little yeah. bit of a a yeah. reference to because I'm no um, I'm no uh, connoisseur of beer. I just know what I like and that's it. I mean some. Nuki Brown never. I mean, I used to drink Nuki Brown years ago, yeah, but it's that. changed. The taste has changed, hasn't it, over the years? But since it's been taken over from another company, and it's, it's changed the taste. Mm. But I still like it. Yeah. This I've grown into these proper beers now. I don't. Um, I'm fifty fucking one. I should have grown into them. So. Oh, I I like that, it is nice though, isn't it? Dave, I could drink that all um, day, mate. You know what? Um, excuse me. Um, even after this uh, sponsorship is done with Beerhawk, I will. I'm going to be buying stuff from these anyway. Christmas, and the best thing is about it with this thing is that you can actually buy a case. And if you've got like your dad or brother-in-law or whatever, you can actually give them five beers out of each one, and you're sorted. It's easy. It's easy money. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going for now, mate? Uh. So it's got 700 years. Yeah, I thought that said zoo. I, th I did. <laughs> there we go. Can you see it? Does it ever do that? No, it ain't gonna do it. Oh, it might do. No, it says zoo. It, but it don't, it says 700 years. 700 years, ABK. Mm. Uh, hell. Hell again. Jesus. Das Blue. Not Das it's, Blue. It's blue, maybe? Mm. 700 years of Bavarian brewing tradition and heritage. Mm. Um, Jeez. Have we got a website there? Yeah. Yeah, some uh, uh, rockdrinks.com. Rockdrinks.com. Uh, rockdrinks.com. I like the badge. I like the badge. Well, let's see. Let's just. Uh, the badge looks alright, but let's see how we are. Yeah. And strength. Are you ready for this? 5. 5%. 5%. Uh, so yeah, not a great deal. I don't actually know where, where which province this is from. No. It says it says uh, the finest uh, barley malt, hops, and pure water. Yeah. And it says uh, brewed traditionally using the finest barley malt. There we go. I mentioned that many in Bavaria. So Bavaria in Germany. Yeah. And they do good beers. I went to. Oh, I mentioned it in my first video of this um, little series I'm doing. Uh, I won tickets to uh, Bavarian Beer Festival. Me and Greavesy went, and um, very good. It was very too. I met the Prince of Bavaria. I don't know if he's still alive now or not. Cheers, dude. Okay, Tell you what, it's getting bloody cold, isn't it? It's pretty cold. We might have to go inside. <laughs> yeah. Get the, the heater on. Well, get the heater on. Get the captain's chair. That's not got as much kick as it has the other two, but I do like it. Um, it's not got as much flavour and more taste to it. I do prefer the Eggberg, what it is. What? Yeah, yeah. Metallic. You... It's got a bit of a metallic taste to it. Do you think? It just hasn't got a lot for it for me. You know what I mean? Quite bitter. Yeah. Bitter aftertaste. A bit, bit. Definitely a metallic taste to it. Yeah. It's um. Nice. I, I haven't yeah. said that. I'm not dissing it. No. It's better than the first I one. I think we it's had. better than the first yeah. one. It's in the lower, it's in the lower half, uh, the lower half of yeah. what we've been drinking, but it's all right to be fair. I won't, um, I won't moan about it. No. Yeah, it's just, it's just lacking in a little something for me. Yeah. Here's a dog. How are you, dog? Hello. <laughs> He's all right. <laughs> He I wants do. a beer. Yeah. I think he's fat. I think the dog's fat. <laughs> I don't think he's fat. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hello. 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah. That yeah. girl has got the biggest spliff I've ever seen in my life. She's. Right. Oh, mate. 
Jesus. I tell you what, I'm feeling really hungry now. I don't think it's the beer. Yeah, it's the... <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Loughborough. Yeah, welcome to Loughborough, folks. <laughs> Walk your dog down the canal and have a spliff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you no, go. No, no. Um, so back to the beer, <laughs> back to what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, so uh, what do you think then? It's all right, it's not, I'm, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too over keen on it. It's not got the wow I, factor, has it? If I was buying from Beer Hawk, I don't think I'd be buying that one. I'll be buying more of that Eggberg and mm. the other one. Sorry. So we're down to the last two, mate, oh, before we chug along. Two, mate. Right. Have a bit of a rinse. Get it out. Bit of a rinse. Oh, blimey. Can you get breathalyzed on a boat? <laughs> Don't think so. Fair play then. Good job. Right, we're going for this one. No, I knew you were going to save this one till the end. Got to save that one till the end. It's a bit <laughs> of history there. So this one is uh, called uh, Rohau Rothhaus. Mm. Rothhaus Brew. Rothhouse Brew, um, it says tannins, or God, I can't even pronounce that. It's from uh, some hos Hoskus Wold. Definitely German, wow. isn't it? It does sound German to me. Just find out what its volume is. 5.1. 5.1 again. These Germans. Bloody hell. These Germans, they know how to uh, drink, don't they? They do. They do. Now I you could, know why I could they say do. something. Now you know why the yodel. Yeah, uh, I could say you do know now why they lost the uh, war because they were all fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Right, there you go, sir. There we go. Mind you, I will admit when me and Greavesy went to Germany, I absolutely loved it. It was brilliant. Really good. How can you not like Germany? You can't, can you? You can't not like Germany. No. And the. To be up, to be fair, um, they do say that they're very, uh, very similar to. If you like your beers, yeah. you like your drinks, you yeah. like good humour. Yeah, they are. Whatever, they're very mm. akin to. Apart from them, like. mullets. <laughs> the mullet. Yeah, can't be doing that. Now this, now the smell of this smells like it's strong to me. <laughs> I'll let you go first. I'm hoping this is going to be good because. It smells like it. It's a bit samey, although actually there's more depth. It is, it's got a thicker it's taste got to body, it, isn't it? Yeah. Again, it's a leffy feel. Yeah. I'm not a sponsor of leffy, by the way. I'm just trying to give it a comparison. That's all right. I do. I th I'm, you know what? Kill a wasp, bloody hornets. <laughs> Bugger off, you're not having none. <clears throat> I'm impressed with that. Oh, yeah. Because I tell you what, I'm not impressed with it because it's not the best one we've had, but it's just got a nice full body. You can feel the body on it, can't you? You can feel it. Yeah. I like yeah. it. I like it's it. middle of the road. It's a good average beer. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a good it. average beer. I like it. Yeah. I, I'm again, barbecue in the garden, nice and cold. You know, happy days. Yeah. I think you could have this at watching TV or yeah. whatever. I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with it, but it's not the best one. No. The best one yet. Still had that. Well, we know what the real best one was. Which? <laughs> Well, I fucking forgot. <laughs> Where was it? Where was it? Oh, that yeah, that this that was a good one. The it was. It was. Lucas. Lucas was a good one. And then I like that. Um, and then we had the. Um, go on, yeah. What's that one there? What is that one? That, oh yeah, that one. Yeah, that was. So good. we're going with that one, Lucas, and then that one. Yeah. The egg thing. Yeah, and the. Uh, good yeah, the, that were good as well. Ah, oh, fuck it. They're all good. Well. You're sitting on a boat in Loughborough, drinking beer. Yeah. Having a nag. We've not told any stories yet either, have we? We've just been reviewing no, beer. No, we've just been reviewing but, beer. Yeah. This is what the this is what beer ought want. Mm. Isn't it? Mm. 
Oh. Yeah. But I like that, although it's not my favourite, I do actually really like it, which is stupid, because that down's like I'm drunk. Lower brow, you can't knock that one. That's all, that's where I was trying. Right. Mm. Uh, one to go. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's have a quick rinse of the glass. Right. You remember yes. Potter's Wheel? Yeah, on well, TV? Oh yeah, Potter's Wheel. Can you remember that? Watching somebody yeah. make a pot. Yeah. What if people actually be watching this again? You know what? I'll, I'll do some work while yeah. listening to these two yeah. rascals. I should have recorded it as a podcast. <laughs> so. Right. Now then, go on then. Tell us your story no, about this, mate. It's not a story, not a shaggy dog, other than the fact that skiers, if you go to Austria, uh, you'll find it in, in Salzburg in, in, in Austria. This is the birthplace of Steigl, yeah. uh, uh, Steigl beer. Um, this will be a staple beer that you'll be drinking. You go, it's a bit like San Miguel yeah. if you go to Spain, go yeah. to Austria, Steigl. And they do vice beer. This is ordinary beer. Yeah. Go to the airport, Salzburg airport. So this is your standard It is. Beer. This, is, this, is just, this is like you know, your Heineken's yeah. of the world if you're... I like Heineken. I, I used to hate I Heineken. Yeah, I yeah. used to really hate Heineken. Yeah. And then one time I just drank it and I thought, yeah, you know what? It ain't that bad. And then. No. I... But uh, this is the only one I really recommend. I well, obviously the yeah. Lone Brown one. So, uh, yeah, it is Lone Brown. Yeah, Lone yeah. Brown recognised. Yeah. And then this one, the Steiger. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, and you can go to Salzburg, guys. They've got a Steiger Museum. There you, go. you get the rest of your day well, here, mate. Apparently, see how it's brewed. You can't beat a beer tour. I love beer tours. You, you've been I've on done one? a whiskey tour. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we whiskey. went up. Uh, Which whiskey was it? Um, I can't remember. Some Steigl. We went up to uh, Scotland on our. <laughs> hey, like, you know what? That, what was that game? With the, uh, where you throw a ping pong ball to get a goldfish, and then by the time you got home, it's dead. <laughs> the ping pong thing, weren't it? Yeah, You're like that. Um, <laughs> I can't remember the whiskey's name, but it was good. Was it good? Yeah. You wait and say, oh, don't, don't breathe in, or it'll knock you out. So you breathe in it. So, so, fuck you out. so did did you actually get it? You know, you go around these whiskey tours. Do you actually get the the taste and stuff like that? They tell you smell it and everything else. Do you get the oak and Sorry, the vanilla and all that sort of stuff? Because I must admit, I go there. <sighs> no, and I don't. But do you know drink what? It and just get pissed really, but yeah. I don't really. I do, um, I, uh, how tight are these jeans? <laughs> you can't get jeans that tight. They were sprayed on. They, no. Do, do you know what? When I wear tight jeans, they hurt me calves. <laughs> I can't wear tight jeans. I can't wear tight anything with this. Um, oh, yeah, um, yeah, I can't, do you know what? When we went to this brewery, uh, to this whiskey place, and they say you can smell this, and like you think, yeah, oh yeah, I can. And you think, do you just go along with it because you don't want to sound like an idiot, an yeah. idiot, or what? But uh, there's a bloke on uh, YouTube, and I can't remember his name. He's a whiskey expert. He is absolutely brilliant. He gets his whiskey, he puts it in the glass, swirls it around the glass, and then he bins that first bit to get the full flavour of the yeah, next yeah. whiskey. So yeah, yeah, no. Oh. I like whiskey, and I, I like the single malts, I love single malts, um, but I can't say that, you Yeah, know, you don't I, get the, you say you're the con, people have connoisseurs yeah. and they say, oh yeah, I prefer this one to the other, and probably do, Yeah. but I'm being brutally yeah. honest, do you, I don't, I've got a smooth no, I know ones. what you mean, you have a smooth one that doesn't wreck your throat, and then you have ones that just seem to yeah. be quaffable, yeah. But I can't say that I really no. know the difference between the different tastes. No, I, I know, I know what you mean. It's a smoky, you know the smoky. Yeah, yeah, you can taste the smoke of the barrel, the can't peat, you? Like yeah. peaty, smoky, all yeah. that lot. But, yeah, but yeah, good stuff. go on then, mate, what do you think? I think this is good, mate. It's, um, yeah, we'll get the old cheers after. I don't get it, he's... He's doing about 80 mile an hour on that scooter. Ooh, oh, what is that? It's got... There's dust. Hey, look, we've got we've got a game uh, footloose when you're in the tractors. Oh, you bugger! Boys, now they've gone round each other. Uh, so good. Yeah, this is good stuff as well, mate. In it, you can't really fault it. It's got body. 
Yeah. It's got flavour. And it makes you want to ski. <laughs> yeah, you get two or three of these down your neck. You're absolutely fine. You're on the piste. Yeah. It's weird down here, folks. There's kids all over the place. He's wearing his, he's got tracky bottoms on and they're halfway down his arse. On a bike. Fashion. What is that about? Fashion, mate. Yeah. We've got some girl called Laura. She's running by, she's jogging. She's got the old ear things in. And there she goes, look. Look at that. Jogging. <laughs> Fucking jogging. Jogging. We'll be drinking beer on a boat. <laughs> Talking about beer or BBM code 10. BB, code BBM 10. That's it. Yeah. I'll tell you something. Your, your taste of sponsors is perfect. It is. Imagine if it had been yeah. like, you know, ski pan fur. Yeah. Come on, Mitch. Yeah. Let's go on the boat and we'll review yeah. different types of ski pants. Ski pants. So, we've got a couple of minutes left on this half hour. This one's going to be about three hours long. Um, out of all of them, that is, we're not impressed with that one. That's the only one that we're not impressed with. The uh, lager beer hell. Uh, but everything else, I would honestly say, <coughs> you've got to buy because they're good, isn't it? We've done the box. We've done the box. We've got one last beer hall one to review when yeah. we get back. When we get back to Pilling's Lock, then we'll go from there. This is going to be about a two hour video. I think you've got some interesting pickies to take on the way back oh, as well. Oh, I've got some druggy over the bloody road. <laughs> over the over the side of the river. May West. Yeah, May West. Oh, yeah, got that anyway. um, Yeah, alright, folks, we are going to um, set sail and I've got a few things to record on the way back. Alright, ladies. I told you, like, that's yeah. what beer's done that now. Yeah. I'm losing my memory. Uh, right folks, we right folks, um, we are actually coming where are we going, Mitch? We're going back to Pillings. We're going back to Pillings, but up here is a bit of history. Herbert um, Morris. Right? Herbert Morris um, Cranes, right? Cranes. Cranes, yeah, that's it. Uh, Mitch has reliably informed me that uh, this place here made cranes that ended up at uh, the brush. Yeah, and many other places. Many other places, places. and the uh, Belfry. Belfry's across the road. The Belfry's across the road, the place that made the uh, bell for Big Ben. So here we have it, look, folks. You can actually see up there the uh, letter E. And that would have been a D. And Herbert. then there'd have been other more. Herbert Morris. Do you, do you know what, right? I can't understand why this hasn't on somebody called Smythe up there, look. Yeah. Um, this has got so much potential to be something more than just a yeah. knackered old building. Pigeons up there. <laughs> it is, it's, got, it's even got a burger along. Who the bloody hell's going to burger all this place? It's got nothing left. It's got absolutely nothing left to give. And it's got a burger alarm on it. <laughs> um, so coming along now, we've got another bridge coming up. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed this today, this afternoon, Mitch. Now, I'm going to give you a bit of a uh, bit of a lesson here. If you own a boat, coming up to this uh, bridge here, there is a little white mark there. And Mitch reliably informs me that uh, if you aim for that white mark, it is actually the centre of the bridge. It's not... I would have gone for the centre of the bridge to be here. But it's not, it's over there. Oh, duck. <laughs> there we go, we're through. Got a jogger. Keeping fit. Um, I think this is also the uh, housing estate where somebody got shot a few years ago. I'm not sure, I can't remember. But it must be nice to come out of there in the morning. You've uh, just done the business with uh, whatever. And you look out onto this, onto the river. Superb. What do you reckon, Mitch? Hmm? Would you live on the uh, river here or...? Oh, I'd like a place against the canal, it'd be lovely. You could park up, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plot 96 is available, mate. Available. Plot 97 there, also available. Very nice. Yeah. 
So, I d for some reason, I like the look of these houses here. They've gone to the uh, now. If you just notice, Mitch has uh, knocked it down a notch or two because um, you don't want to be going by a boat and giving it a uh, what's it called current. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to keep washing it about. Uh, but uh, these boats, these houses, not boats, these houses here have got this uh, Norwegian effect. I think I'd rather have had brick, you know, because you've got to stain that so often, every so often, ain't you? Have you got to stain it? Unless it's pre-treated, Dave. But, but even so. A bit of maintenance, matey. Yeah, it's, it's still a bit of maintenance, isn't it? There you go. Right. So uh, we're going to crack on, That's and uh, your neighbours. Oh yeah. Oh good. Would... How you going, dude? Right. There you go. Right, folks. Um, I've come up to the front of the boat, the pointy end, and uh, I've just come to have a moment, really, because. I wanted to have a chat about how nice this is. It's just absolutely unbelievable that we are cruising along. It's not unbelievable because obviously people do this all the while, but I've never been on a no, uh, narrow boat. I've never done this kind of thing. And a big thank you to Mitch and Annette for letting me do this because um, when I got this sponsorship, I didn't know I had, had I had ideas what I wanted to do, but I never really thought I could bring it out and do it. But Mitch was more than willing to let me do this, and I'm just so happy that um, with this video associated with Beer Hawk, <laughs> it's quite funny saying that, me having a sponsorship, unbelievable. Um, I can do it, and I really, really hope that you do enjoy this video of me um, sitting here at the front end of an arrow boat doing the pointy stuff. I'm going to have a look here. Do you want to have a wave, Mitch? There he is, waving away, showing off his boat. But it's just quite amazing. House is over there. It's just really, really good. And I can't say thank you enough to Mitch. I mean, somebody here look, living on this boat. It's just a different way of life. So peaceful and uh, tranquil that you can just do this all the while. Right, onwards and further down here. Right, folks, this is the end of the uh, trip up the uh, Rosie and Jim. You could have called it Rosie and Jim. Yeah, on the narrow boat, couldn't they? Yeah. Rosie and Jim. Captain Pulp. Yeah, keep making that book, don't I? Um, so we are now back at Pillings Lock uh, in Barrow upon Soar. Uh, thank you very much, Mitch, for this. I You're have welcome. thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this uh, beer roof, uh, review for, uh, as you can tell, these beers are strong, um, for Beer Hawk. Uh, sponsor of the I feel like I have to keep saying it because obviously they you know this is what they want so uh, we've what we've actually got we've actually got a beer left that's um, not in the box of world lagers Mitch has actually bought one from beer hawk when did you buy this one from mate oh about six weeks ago but six it was all the same it was yeah. the same stuff right? yes. so there yeah, you there you go. Uh, it's a Weiss beer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's uh, obviously German um, uh, Weiss beer, uh, which is white beer, I think is what mm. they say. But anyway, the thing about this is it's proper Weiss beer. They've still yeah. got the yeast in, so don't be worried if you think it's cloudy. Oh, right. Because it's it's not cloudy, it's just how it how it is. And so what, so and we uh, use the glasses, shall we? Yeah. Easy. yeah. Are they all clear? Uh, I don't think they are, to be fair. Oh, what? Well, well. Oh, we're there. Yeah, we're there. We're at that stage in the day now, Dave. And we've got one each. We've got one each. So we're going to finish now. On we're a... really, in, in theory, we are pushing the boat out. <laughs> pushing the boat out. <laughs> we're not killed anybody. We're back in a proper marina. Yeah. Now what That's they right, do, man. when they do these, when they pour these, what they do is they shake the bottom ah. it's got yeast. You've been watching me mate Simon on Real Owl Craft Beer. Oh, okay, cool. That's what he says. 
do that and then look you see it's cloudy yeah at the end of the day that's how they do it that's how there. it is that's how it's supposed to be folks so there you go perfectly poured look at that and this is a a quiet glass that i got from when i was out skiing it just happened to be left in my case i don't know what happened there what do you think Ooh, and it's five percent you get a sense of banana you do yeah like a is the banana in it no but it's banana you get that banana flavor don't you mm. and it's it's we used to call it banana beer with the skin because you can smell you can it's like call a it banana up. isn't it but you're so you bought, what did you, when you bought this then from beer all did you buy an actual case of it or yeah did you just... a whole case of this basically um and because uh, I like bison beer, mm. just to me. it just reminds me when I go out skiing and mm. that sort of stuff. But uh, it's uh, you, this is what you'll be reviewing with your mate in October. Oh right, because it'll all be that big dog. I've got another one uh, joining the, the BBM stable. Uh, big dog from work. God, that's gorgeous, isn't it? I'm being biased, I've got to say, it's really. It's premium. It is nice, isn't it? Mm. It is good. Mm. It is a good beer. And I find about this, if you like your beers, this is kind to you. Yeah. So you can drink quite a few of these. Next morning, you've not got a banging not... head. It's almost like nutrients in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. It's no wrong with this. Wonderful. Nothing wrong with this and at it's, all. People might not like to think it's cloudy, but that's how it should be. So don't get hung up. You know, it doesn't have to be crystal clear every time. Mm. Look at the life in it. I don't know if you can see the bubbles in there, folks. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. You can taste the banana, but there's no banana <laughs> no. in it. It's a banana beer. Do you know what? I think I'd have sat here thinking, I can taste some of there, but I don't know what it is. But you've said the banana. It's good it to go. So you, when you bought uh, from Beer Hall, you had no problems, it turned up at the right time and everything? Do you know what, it, I'm not saying that because you've invited me here to yeah. sample beer and yeah. everything else, but my experience was really, really positive. The guys do everything they say on the tin, yeah. works. You know, speedy, delivery's right, payment's dead easy, uh, and uh, you know what yeah. guys, please, use, definitely go with Beer Hall, because yeah. they are really, really good. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Just getting the like, getting the uh, the getting the business out there, folks. Mm. So, and also price wise, you were you think happy about, with the price yeah, as because well. Because you're actually getting you're getting your beer much cheaper than you would yeah. do if you were yeah. certainly if you're going to a pub or yeah. anything like that. The other thing is that you're not having to lug it around yeah, when you go to the shops. Yeah, and yeah. I was also thinking with the way the situation of the world. That's code for. Covid, uh, with the situation in the world that we might be ending up going in some kind of lockdown, it's ideal. Yeah, you know, even if it ain't Covid, just get it anyway because yeah. it's all right. I'm yeah. well impressed with it. Yeah. yeah, and and I think what you have, what we what we sampled today, yeah, is a selection of really good. Beers. It's like a sweet shop, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it's like pick and mix at Woolworths. Yeah, yeah. and I encourage especially if you've got mates and that, to get a couple of variety boxes. And it just enhances yeah. the drinking experience. Which, like I said as well, if you do actually buy them and uh, split the bottles up, if you get 15, if you get 15, you've got your dad, your brother, your father-in-law, uh, your father -in -law, your whoever, you can give them five bottles each and they can all, you know. Yeah. yeah fair play, mate. Right, mate. Well, thanks for doing this for me, no, mate. That's, that's, that's um, good. No, enjoy it. Look at that. We've got, finally, we're getting yeah, a bit of blue getting, sky. <laughs> getting some blue sky. At bloody, what time is it? Uh, it's uh, five to seven. Yeah, five, <laughs> I was 1855 on my watch. <laughs> five to seven. Got pork chops. What you got for dinner? I don't know. Something special. Eh? Mm. I've got the munchies, especially after that couple came by. Yeah, that couple could buy. <laughs> I, said, I think the dog's farted. Uh, the dog's been eating ganja. Yeah. Yeah. This is nice. So you stop down here quite a lot with the yeah, wife. Yeah, it's just... lovely. Yeah, and it's 
people around here are really, really good. Really nice people. Well, he's all right, isn't Because you just rammed into his mouth. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. That, that was quite gentle. You know, the very first time we met, I think I bounced off that that post. <laughs> then I bounced off the boat. <laughs> but uh, some people say it's a contact sport. Um, as I say, you. Uh, but so uh, yeah, it's good. What, what did you enjoy most about today then, Dave? Do you know what, mate? I just enjoyed the way you could just like chug, chug along at three mile an hour and you can just stand there chatting. Yeah. You're just chatting about nothing. You just chat, don't you? Because where we're from, we just chat about nothing, don't we? You can chat with your mates and like, you can, the best thing about our gang of lads is that it's like uh, Ian Riley, he's emigrated to Australia. Yeah, and you know, and I can see if I see Ian tomorrow, you just pick up where you went, where you le last left off, and that's how we are, isn't it? Yeah. Our gang of lads. Yeah. You know. Barrow lads. Yeah. After each other. Yeah. That's all it's about. So, right. I think we'll uh, sup these up. I think we'll just chill out now and finish turn off. this camera off. We'll have ten minutes on our own, and we'll go from there. So, once again, folks, um, if you've enjoyed these beer reviews, please go to Beer Hawk, go and use the BBM code BBM10. You will get uh, money off, and you will also be now included into the uh, machines as well. So, look it up, and let's go for it. All right, folks, thank you. Thank you, Mitch. You're very welcome. Dave. That's all right. Good stuff. Laters. <laughs>